it's, it's, it's six. I could be at this meeting and I could leave right at my man has time to get back. Um, if, you, if you desire to meet. Um, if we, if you have a conflict as well? Um, yes, I will not be here. So I guess my question is, if we're able to get on their agenda and we meet on the 21st, um, if it may be important to be here on the 28th just to kind of come back to what, what, result, what the results was of that meeting and where we need to go from there. Or unless you guys want to, to move our meeting to the following, that's what I mean, it's just maybe it's more my Thursday out. John, you got it March 28th with the uh, Trying to plan these meetings on to coincide with the region with our regional planning council meeting. Thank you. Yeah, and which is on the 25th of April. Yeah. Is that does that mean everybody's approval? Yes. Okay, having that done, I'll open up to the floor. Mayor? I don't even know if this is are you point I'm not mayor. I'm sorry. I'm running for I'm re, up for re-election as of this past Tuesday, but uh, but as a commissioner, uh, I don't even know if this you can ask for anything. And I'm going by memory. There was a Clean Water Act I think passed in 1972, it's a federal statute. It would seem that Senator Rubio's office and Senator Scott's office may be going back to see exactly what that says, because it says basically that one state cannot infect the water quality of another state. If I'm a, Right, that's correct. That is correct. So if that is true, then Senator Rubio and Senator, Senator Scott should certainly be able to sit down with that statute with the two senators from Georgia and say this is a major issue. We're talking about 40 some years. If it's something that should be enforceable, it should be enforced, it's nice to bring that back up to the table and say, hey, this is federal statute. It's not, unless it's been repealed. And I don't think it has been. I would just that's just my recommendation that I'm Probably through the chair to the two senators represent those. I think it'd be great for those two senators to talk to senators from Georgia and say, "Hey, we got a major problem. It's been going on for 40 years. We need to address this thing." And then maybe the federal funding issue, as far as getting support to help this process, coming from four state senators, possibly could you know, could move some dollars out of out of Washington down here to fix it. I mean, that's I'm just not too sexy for it. I've already communicated with some of my folks in D.C. I'm going to get with the three of you afterwards to maybe set up a call between my folks in D.C. and y'all, if that'd be okay. Um, or maybe next week sometime. And yeah, that has been discussed in our previous meetings about the Clean Water Act. I wasn't here for that. I just started coming last time. I appreciate you bringing that back to me. Very good. Thank you. Anyone else in the audience? Yes, sir. Just wanted to relay. Um, Representative Brandon said you could add his name to your resolution. He'd be more than happy to sign it. And uh, that he has spoken to uh, Noah Valenstein personally and to Congressman Lawson's office, and they're all willing to help as well. Great. Very good. Thank you. Uh, if we're going to have some assistance from the federal level, that also applied for a grant from FEMA for some, some of the work we're trying to do. Perhaps some senators could talk to FEMA about maybe some such grant could be facilitated. 
And, and I think what you're referring to is the funding that they were rejected for back in uh, 2012. I think this is a more recent thing. Oh, it was more recent than that. Back in 2012, they had to go through FEMA before they could even start work on um, doing their improvements. It took FEMA forever to respond. I'm fairly sure this is something more recent, but even if it's not, you know, some more responsiveness from the federal agencies and providing funds would be great. It looks like for the start in 2016, they claim that there's still two pieces of the natural disaster. There were hurricanes. But that wasn't what called the ones in December of last year. There was no hurricane. That's just wet weather. That's right. A lot of wet weather issues. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Well, thank you all so much for being here. And it means a lot to us in our counties to have some representation from our special. Anybody else have anything to do with the order? Not real. I know. Sure. Good to meet you. All right.